So with this one, I really want to talk about the top areas OneFuse can help VRA customers. Um, many of you may not have felt any pain related to kind of uh, vRealize 8 because you maybe haven't deployed it. And so, you know, it's good to know that VMware has moved the end of life date from April 2022 for VRA 7. Um, they have pushed that out now to September 2022. But we developed this chart to kind of show where VRA has some gaps. And again, this isn't really to poke at VRA weaknesses, but really more where one fuse can make VRA better. The idea here is, you know, one plus one equals, equals three. So custom code reduction, VRA requires extensive uh, custom code for, for production ready automation, right? The idea behind OneFuse is we're, we're creating these codeless integration services that can be reused, right? Whether that's for info blocks or Active Directory or Terraform, um, it, it kind of doesn't matter. Integration dashboard, right? Uh, here, what we're doing is showing data from an integration perspective, not just the server. So show me what you know, IPAM, Infoblox, AD, Ansible did during this integration. Multi-tool consumption. So when leveraging other automation tools for, you know, provisioning, um, in addition to maybe VRA, and this could be a, a Terraform, an Ansible, a service now, it's extremely difficult to standardize integrations using, you know, VRA 7 or VRA 8. Auditing. Um, being able to view generated objects and results, including request details, such as you know, source platform or job detail or API payload and response. Uh, that's something that we can provide to kind of fill that gap for VRA. Policy and template. So um, they're kind of limited in static policies, restrict flexibility in VRA, and, and, and the use cases for governing uh, process information kind of become uh, rigid. So we allow for more extensive and dynamic policies to kind of govern um, those integrations. Migration and portability, OneFuse can de uh, decouple integration services, again, making that transition from a seven to eight or a seven to Terraform easier for you. And then deep and wide integrations, which we'll probably get into a little bit here in, in, in the demo. Um, you know, a, a large analyst firm kind of described um, VRA is a perfect 60% offering. And that's true, right? What, what, what OneFuse is trying to do is offer up the other 40%. So if you click again, um, so you know, the, the point I want to get across here is that we don't make vRealize or we don't make Terraform or ServiceNow or Ansible, we make them better, right? So the idea here is stop building custom coded integrations. OneFuse turns those system connections into reusable, policy govern centralized integration services for easy automation. So if we go to the next slide. But I wanted to kind of tout the benefits of OneFuse. So we simplify integrations to, to better enable automation. And we build integration services, as I mentioned before, that are reusable, they're documented, they're centralized, uh, and you can govern them. We help you scale. We, ena uh, we enable you to kind of create, again, these reusable services codelessly so you don't have to start over and over and over and over again. And so we simplify and reduce blueprint sprawl, uh, sprawl without creating the, the, the complexity. We provide deeper level integrations so we can provide validation and sequencing and support for multiple solutions out of the box, visibility to see assignments, embedding workflows and more. And then lastly, we enable those governed integrations, right? We allow you to build a policy to govern how particular integrations operate uh, and kind of provide a little control post build. Um, the other thing on this slide is I pulled together some key customer logos. Um, we have helped these organizations improve IT integrations for again, smooth cloud automated processes. And then, uh, you know, the, the last thing before we get to Mike is I want to touch on the net promoter score. And, uh, you know, some of you may be familiar with what a net promoter score is, but if I, if I break it down to its most basic thing, it's the likelihood of customers uh, willing to recommend your product and service. So CloudBolt, um, you know, this past year had a OneFuse um, NPS or a, a net promoter score of 62. The industry average is 21. So the point to glean from this is OneFuse customers are nearly three times more likely to recommend OneFuse than some industry average product. 